I once heard a story about a man that spent a good portion of his professional career on the police force in a big city. After working his way up to a position on the SWAT team and spending many years on the SWAT team, he watched a couple of very close friends die in the line of duty. Once he had reached the 20 year point of retirement, his wife begged him to get off the SWAT team and maybe take a job at the academy or something along those lines, which he did. After spending a few years working at the academy, he decided it was time to retire. After retiring, this man decided he needed a hobby, so he took up flying model airplanes. One afternoon, while flying his model airplane, he lost sight of the plane in the sun, and that plane came down and hit him square in the chest and killed him. Now the truth is, I don't know for sure if this story is true. Honestly, I hope that it isn't. But the point I'm trying to make is, when it's your time to go, there's probably not much you're gonna do about it. As I worked on carefully setting these culverts, it was late in the afternoon. Nobody else was up here. Terrell had left for the day. In the back of my head, I kept thinking I ought to call somebody and have them up here watching me at least. But I wanted to get the job done. I'm not careless. I'm not dangerous. But I recognize that sometimes you just buckle down and get things done. As I unhooked the chains from the very first culvert, I realized that if I fell in the water, I wasn't going to die from drowning. I was going to die from hypothermia. I'll bet money that that water wasn't any warmer than about 40 degrees. It was shockingly cold for a warm July summer day where the ambient temperature was over 93 degrees. As I set the culverts, I worried that it could potentially tip over, and therefore I did my best to stay out of the way. But I needed to get the job done. I wasn't gonna sit around and worry and hope and fear that something would go wrong. I just tried to take the steps to be as careful as I could and get the job done and get out of there. Thank heavens, everything went okay no issues at all. I drilled a bunch of holes in the very lowest section of culvert, which really was completely unnecessary. I drilled a few holes in it just to be safe. Now, in my opinion, this is the lowest this water table is going to get. It's a dry year. It's midsummer. I will likely get inside the tank and mark the water level so I have something to gauge it against when the water's high. But this is as high as the water's gotten. It's never gotten any higher than this. I hooked my trash pump up to it and had it running full blast for about six hours. I couldn't get the water table any lower than about five feet. Now what I hope to do is once I have it completely backfilled with small gravel is build a mound around this where water is going to wash away from it. I deliberately set the thing up pretty high. It's probably three to five feet higher than the ground. But I don't want water getting in here that hasn't gone through the soil first. After letting the well sit for over a week, I could see down about seven feet into the well. The water was clearing up beautifully, but once I have all the gravel in place, everything backfilled, 
I'll pump it out two or three or four more times, trying to flush as much of that sediment out of there as I can. And then from that point on, it's just a matter of waiting. The sediment will find its way to the bottom both here in this cistern as well as in the tank that I intend on having up on the hill. By the time the water gets to my house, even though I will have filters, it should be quite clear. I have a square concrete lid that I also got from the precast company, but I don't like it. I think I may actually just make my own round lid that's gonna sit right on top of the tapered culvert and seal up very well. I may also leave a port where I could pour some very strong chlorine or, or shock the well in some way as needed. More than likely there is going to be some evidences of E. coli or something along the lines because it's been open. The other day I could see two or three dead night crawlers floating in the water. These things are just going to be part of the process. Before we start using it, I'll definitely shock it, but I don't want to do this on a regular basis. But I'm hoping just as we use it that the water will clear up and it will be naturally very good water. I'll send it out to get tested to make sure there's nothing else in there to worry about, but I'm certain it'll be fine. Okay, right here standing at the front of the house, uh, the elevation is 5,336 feet. Now the well is about 30 feet lower than the house, so I could do a couple different things. I could put a storage tank in our utility room, pump the water to that storage tank, use a pump, a lift pump, a booster pump uh, to get the house up to anywhere from 30 to 55 PSI. My second option is to run the water line about 100 feet higher than the elevation right here to give me 50 to 52 PSI. Now anything above 50 PSI is excessive if you ask me. Anything below 50 PSI, you, you end up drilling out your aerators and your shower heads to uh, have necessary pressure. But really 30 to 50 PSI in our situation here would be fine. 70 feet up the hill, 70, 70 vertical feet up the hill gives us 35, uh, roughly 30 to 35 PSI. Uh, what I'm going to do now is walk up the hill and find where this is because what I really want to do is put a storage tank up there so I can also have water up there. And then what I'm going to do is put the proper pump down in the well so I have uh, enough lift with that pump to where I'm never going to have to worry about pressure. The only real issue is I'm going to end up with about 500 linear feet of pipe to reach that 100 foot uh, elevation is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to walk up here and figure out where this is at real quick and that will tell me a lot. Okay, right here is 5,436 feet, so it's exactly 100 feet higher. It's nowhere near as far up the hill as I, I thought I was going to have to go. Um, there's a spot back behind me that's actually quite flat that I could put the tank. The only other thing I want to do now is walk the distance back to the house and see how many feet, how many linear feet it's going to take. And as long as it's somewhere between five and 600 uh, feet, it'll be fine. I said in a previous video that I found a company online that basically puts everything I need together in one kit. Now with my plumbing background, I could piece 
this whole kit together. I could find a pump, I could find float valves, I could find solar panels, I could find uh, all of the, the check valve, all of the things that I'm gonna need, but I actually found a company that puts everything together. It's tried and true, it's, it's tested, they've got years of experience doing this, and I can't wait to work with this company. Um, as we get to the point of installation with the well pump, I'll talk more about them. I'm going to walk this off, make sure it's less than 600 feet. As long as it is, we're good to go. So come uh, first part of next week, I'm going to haul a bunch of rock to fill the well in with. Uh, I'm going to put landscaping fabric and some 6 mil plastic down to try and seal it off. And then we're ready for the, 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 to run the trench for the water line. I'm hoping to try and get it all done next week, so we'll see how it goes. It's almost exactly 600 feet. Now again, I can lower that tank down on the hill if I need to and still have over 35 PSI, but I'm gonna try and work it from where it's at. So uh, this is good news. I thought I was gonna have to go way further up the hill than I did. And uh, the excavator, my excavator, some of you guys have been asking about that. It's here in town. Um, thank goodness I didn't trade out the, uh, uh, the backhoe just yet because I don't think the excavator would have lifted those concrete culverts but I'm gonna need the excavator to dig the trench. And so I'm looking forward to having that next week. I'm hoping either next week or the week after. So everything is good. Everything is right where it needs to be. Uh, now there's just some uh, running, some trenching and running of water lines, things like that to uh, get everything in place. But, but this is uh, going the right direction to say the least.